Hi everyone, today I'm here with this easy formal hairstyle which is a messy up style. Uh, perfect for any formal occasion and it is super easy to do as well. So I'm starting out by just brushing out my hair and then I'm actually going to give myself a side part. I usually have a middle part. So um, decide if you want a side or middle. I just think that a side part is a little bit more elegant and formal. Then I'm going to clip in my hair extensions. So that is something else that I've added into this hairstyle. Um, my hair is about oh, past shoulder length, but I'd like to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to clip in a three piece, a five piece, and then two two bits clips on the side. Then what I'll do is I'll take some heat protectant because I am going to be styling my hair, uh, curling it first. Brush that through and I'm using the Irresistible Me Sapphire wand. I'm using the largest barrel and with my handy dandy glove, <laughs> I'm going to take sections um, of hair, big chunks and curl them away from my face. I'm sure you guys all know how to curl your hair. So after it's all curled, I'm going to brush it out with my tangle teaser and then find my part again. Now what I'm going to do is give myself a lot of volume up the top. I really think it's important to give formal hairstyles a lot of volume. I just like that look. So what I'm going to do is take sections, hairspray them and then back comb them with a fine tooth comb. And then just take the next row and I will work around my part and uh, then I'll just comb it down at the end and yeah, you'll see the result in a minute. <laughs> This also helps uh, to cover the hair extensions. Obviously mine are not dyed to my ombre hair, uh, so I do want to hide them. <laughs> The next step is to take a section around your crown. I am going to include the sections of hair extensions like just at the back there. Make a half ponytail and secure it with one of those little small elastic bands. Then what I'm going to do is take the end of the comb and kind of pull the hair through to give it a bit more volume. Now to section your ponytail in half and then Slip the end of the ponytail through the hole that you just made. Does that make sense? You know, like we used to have those plastic things with the holes in it, and you know, they used to do that. <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. Now for the fun part, what I'm actually going to do is take a section of hair, twirl it around, stick a bobby pin in about halfway or three quarters of the way down the strand of hair, and pin it to my head and repeat. That's why this is so easy and like it's messy but it still looks formal and nice. Obviously depending on how much you twirl the piece of hair and where you put the bobby pin in the strand of hair, whether it's towards the end or the middle, uh, that does play a big part in how the hair does turn out. Some parts I think I might have twirled a little bit too much. But essentially just repeat this step uh, starting from the middle, going all the way around uh, your hair. So you'll see it all come together by the end, every strand you piece in will help it. So then at the end you just pick up a few bobby pins and the straggly end bits and you just pin them down. If you have another person there to help you, they can help you do that or just grab another mirror and look in a bigger mirror. Uh, just fix it up and then a good way to test to make sure everything is secure is to actually shake your head and if it kind of doesn't seem secure then throw a few more bobby pins in there. Also with the front sections just make sure your hair covers the hair extensions when you pin it back. Uh, well in this case I have to make sure because they don't match my hair. 
So with this hairstyle, I've actually left quite a bit of hair framing my face. I feel more confident when I have hair on my face. I hate it all pulled back off of my face. So with the finishing touches, don't forget to spray some hairspray and you are all good to go. But anyway, that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And that's it for me. Have a great day, guys. Bye.